the new Porsche 718 Boxster. This new high-performance version of the Porsche 718 Boxster is called the 718 Spider. It uses a naturally aspirated flat-six engine with 414 horsepower, cementing its place atop the lineup. The 2020 718 Spider will go on sale next spring with a starting price of $97,550. With more power and torque than the last-gen flat-six cars, every variety of the Porsche 718 Boxster we've tested reaffirms that this net engine master pulls harder with its new turbocharged four-cylinder engines. But Porsche's GT customers some of the most nitpicky people in the sports car universe demanded that the hottest Boxster, the Spider, return with the engine they think the cars deserve. Porsche listen. The new 718 Spider takes the 992 generation 911's 3.0-liter flat 6982 EVO engine, bores and strokes it out to 4.0 liters, and strips off the turbos. To get this kind of rev range, new heads, valves, pistons, connecting rods and crankshaft were also fitted. So was a new intake manifold with two resonance flaps. Altogether, this engine makes 414 horsepower at 7600 rpm 39 more than the 2016 Boxster Spider and 309 pound-feet of torque from 5,6800 rpm, identical to the 2016 car. The only transmission is a six-speed manual. Porsche 718 Boxster is more street-friendly. Unlike the previous generation Spider, which used a more street-friendly suspension and brake package than the corresponding Cayman GT4, the new Spider is just as hardcore as its hardtop brother. It boasts a new front bumper with larger air intakes, a ducktail rear spoiler, and an aggressive diffuser to keep it grounded at its claimed 187 mile per hour top speed. Both the Spider and the GT4 borrow the 911 GT3's front suspension and brakes 15.0-inch rotors all around with six piston calipers up front and fours in the rear for 16.1-inch front units and 15.4-inch rears with the optional carbon ceramics and the adaptive dampers are from the GT3 RS. The ABS and Stability Control Programming are RS Spec 2. The anti-roll bar end links, camera, and toe can all be manually adjusted, but the ride height 1.2 inches lower than a standard 718's is fixed. A clutch-type limited slip differential with brake-based torque vectoring pairs with electric power steering. The Spider has wider tires than in lesser models, with 245's at the front and 295's at the rear. Porsche fits either Michelin Pilot Sport Cup Tour or Dunlop Sport Max Race 2 tires wrapped around new 20-inch wheels. At roughly 3,300 pounds, the Spider is porkier than before. It's also nearly 200 pounds heavier than the current generation Boxster GTS by Porsche's figures, though fans of the flat six will likely forgive the extra weight. The new Spider's manual roof unclips from its moorings on the Spider's windshield header and rear haunches and simply folds into a space below the rear deck lid, making it much easier to deal with than the original Boxster Spider's pup tent, which required five minutes of fumbling. The fabric flying buttresses ensure that no one will mistake this for an average Boxster. A special package dresses the Spider's interior in black and red leather that is paired with a two-tone black and red fabric top. Aluminum or body color interior trim are the only other choices, unless you're the paint to sample type. Safety nannies such as blind spot monitoring and lane keeping assist are not available. The 718 Spider will go on sale next spring at a starting price of $97,550, which is $13,500 more expensive than a manual Boxster GTS, but $2,900 less than a new Cayman GT4. The 718 Boxster rules.